hello everyone and thank you for watching another one of my videos today will be slightly different to all the other videos in the sense that nothing will be resin uh, I have had a big gap in making a video because I've moved across the country I've moved 400 miles away from where I was and also I've bought a 3d printer and I've been trying to get the thing working and changing the settings and all sorts so this video is to show you the first things that have come off my 3D printer and at a later point more resin will definitely continue. Okay, so the first thing is this, a little Batman charm, um, it's black and it's on a keyring. Pretty much everything is currently on one of these keyrings because when I do like a craft fair or something I'm going to write like the information for it on here so everything will be individually priced and ready to go so that's why everything is on one of these so yeah that's the Batman then I have a selection of sugar skulls all painted this one is with little diamondy eyes which are sticking up from the base another one this was spray painted chrome before anything else was done to it and then it was painted so again that's ready to go and that's got black edging but chrome at the back as well uh, we have another one which is just like the first one just slightly a different colour layout again with the diamond eyes and this is just white on the back then this one is slightly different in the fact that it's all glitter hoping that it's picking up that glitter oh, again that's just white on the back ok then I have about 10 of these little tiny hearts that are raised up if they come up in layers I'm not sure if you could there you could probably see the layers and then the top's been pink glittered that's just solid pink with pink glitter on the top and I have about 10 of them then we have a Superman logo all shiny and just blue on the back because it was printed in blue plastic and then the red was painted on and, and glazed then we have this one which is actually a moving piece and it prints it as one piece and you then just fiddle with it till you get it to spin but it's an, an alien keyring and it's in sort of a dark green and a very light pink Then we have the fish. Now this also prints in one piece, but it moves. Now I'm not entirely sure how it prints it. I think there's like little bits that don't connect in here, but they're tight that they don't come out. And again, we just glittered it, ready. unusual. I quite like these movable ones that print in one go. Then we have another moving piece. This one has got the back logo in the middle but it's again the same as the alien. It, it spins round um, and this one doesn't have a other part of the keyring gun because this is actually being sent to my daughter because um, she's fell in love with this piece so she's actually having that one um, but yeah the, it's black with lots and lots of sparkle on it I really like how that come out then I printed for my resin when I do craft fairs a tree I did, and as you can see it stands up on its own and you can hang things from it rings and key rings but this is the small version there's actually a bigger version that I plan to make um, 
I only did the small one because I wasn't sure how it would turn out. I'm quite chuffed with that. Then there is, and I'm hoping you'll see this, a Darth Vader jet black key ring. Um, black all the way around with bits of sparkle on it for some reason. I also have various musical notes. This one has actually been glittered, uh, printed in black and silver glitter. But generally, the other musical notes, and I think there's one, two, three, four more, they are just black all the way around. I think that's the only one that we glittered. I don't know, I think not everybody would prefer the glittered one, so I've done some black. I also have, for anyone who watches Once Upon a Time, and obviously this is my piece to keep, it's why it's not got a tag on it, a dark one dagger that says my name. Now this is a tiny piece, so I'll put it next to my hand so you can see. It's, it's not full size, I do plan to print the full size dagger with my name in. And, uh, and keep that also. Um, I'm contemplating trying to figure out if I can make that as a necklace, which I think would be quite cool. But with this was printed in, I think it was printed in grey, and then all the, of the thing has been printed, has been painted. Sorry, the diamondy red, the handle, the metal and all the detailing has been painted by hand and then varnished over so I'm absolutely thrilled with how that one came out then we have this piece which is so sparkly it's a cat and a moon and it's quite big so it's kind of like a wall hanging there are some small versions of this coming that are going to be necklaces, but they're about you know that big compared to the other, this, the size of this one. So again, that was printed, I think, in white, and then it's been painted and glittered and varnished. Then I have two of these Jack Skellington bookmarks. I don't think it's all going to fit in. So obviously you put your page in there, and his eyebrows here, they stand out from the rest of the piece. So I have two of them that will go to craft fair with me. I have a selection of feathers, all slightly different. This first feather it was sprayed with chrome, the chrome paint, as the sugar school was, and also given a very, very, very slight glitter. The next one is fairly similar. It's white with glitter, but also with black in it as well, and the black's glittered too. This next two are the same, however, so I do have two of them. They are rainbow coloured, uh, again with glitter. I'll just show you this one. They will also be going to the craft fair. And finally, I have a selection of spider's webs with spiders. Now the spiders are all glittered but what we've done is on each one the spider is a different colour so this one's like a, a very pale sparkly green colour we have a dark green spider a 
a gold spider and a pink sparkle spider. A blue and a red sparkly spider. And a silver and a white sparkly spider. So at the moment that's everything we've 3D printed. Um, there will be lots more to come. As I, as I say I will still be doing resin but for the moment that's all my 3D printing stuff. I hope you've enjoyed it. Bye!